So, I see this all the time. People distro hopping, switching from one distribution to the next in Linux. I always discourage it. I always say, hey, distros don't matter. They're only a starting place. And really, I know what you're going to do because I did that exact same thing. You're going to distro hop anyways. You're going to go from one distribution to the next. And it is such a maddening experience when you first start out because sometimes you get it almost 100% and then just one thing nags on you and you jump to the next distribution. I remember when I started Linux, that's what I did. And really what this video aims to do is make that life a heck of a lot easier and make it a lot easier on you as far as configurations and those types of things. So that's what we're doing in this video. We're taking that distro hop. We're taking all our settings from one distribution, importing them into another distribution. So let's jump into it. So this is a pretty easy process. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and remote into my other computer, download all of my .config files, and then we're just going to take those .config files and put them in this new PC that I just built, I think, last week. So uh, we're going to just drop them in there and see what happens because I think a lot of people are uh, a little iffy about doing this, and it's okay. I just wanted to demonstrate it in this video. But also, when it comes to the .config file, Zip it up, back it to like a Dropbox or OneDrive or, you know, pick your poison as far as cloud storage goes. Uh, just zip it up, put it up there, and that way you can always re grab it back down. Now, obviously, I like to encrypt this file just because I don't trust cloud storage. Uh, but, you know, do whatever you're comfortable with. Personally, I like to drop mine on NextCloud, but I know some people don't have that luxury. But with that, let's get on the desktop and show you this process. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our zip file. We're going to go ahead and remote into our old computer that uh, is still running, and we're just going to zip this file up. You don't have to do this this way. You can just go to that computer and zip it, and then put it on a flash drive if you like. So we're going to go to our main PC, which I already, already have an alias, so... Now we're remoted into the main PC in there. I want to zip this file up, so we'll just do a tar, uh, create verbose zip file of config configs dash backup dot tar file gzipped this will give it compression and put it in there i kind of tried to say all the stuff as i came out i might have been all wrong about one or two of those options but it just helps me remember when i'm doing it so with that we want to back up our config directory so we're going to tar this to the configs dash backup dot tg tgz and then dot config we're already in our home directory here so we'll hit enter this will go through go through all my stuff and go okay what are all the settings for these programs so if i have a program installed it's going to go through and go okay there's this one this one this one this one and it'll just back them all up really nice and neat really easy uh, i did find uh, this one uses google chrome and I'll actually need to go through and remove it, but it has a lot of cache and other nastiness in it, which I don't recommend backing up Chrome. If uh, you wanted to exclude this directory, I probably would. But everything else, most other applications aren't nearly as heavy as uh, Google Chrome is, which we all know most people should be using Chromium. And actually on this machine, I am using Chromium, so uh, I would actually exclude this directory now. But this is pretty much everything I've used on that PC in the past six months in every setting. So that's why we go ahead and just do all of the dot config. But it would be nice to go in here, clean up any old programs you may not use anymore. Uh, that'll definitely help speed this process up. It also kind of keeps a nice clean install on your Linux box because if you're just installing a whole bunch of programs and you're like, you know, out of those 20 programs installed, uh, you purge 18 of them you probably should go back through and go ahead and clear out the cache, especially if it's a program that holds credentials. Like I think I had Rambox and Station installed on this PC at one time, and I just went ahead and just completely removed all those because I don't want my credentials stored in, in our .config at all for those uh, programs I don't use anymore. So with that, if we do uh, LL, you'll see that we have configs-backup. Uh, the other one up there, I think I made and then I realized I had too much stuff so it forced me to actually go back through and kind of clean it up. So configs-backup is what we need. So we'll go ahead and grab that folder 
And I'm just going to kind of stay in command prompt for this. I could easily remote into that PC and do it. However, uh, let's let's get a little fancy with it. So we're going to remote in using SCP, grab that file, and then pipe it back over. 192.168.69.90. And we're going to grab the configs dash backup file dot tgz and we're going to go put it in our home directory so with that let's see what we get so it'll go through the interwebs grab that file through scp pull it in um, now this is definitely the more advanced way of doing things however uh, for this like i said this process you could just zip up using your favorite gui extractor like archive manager would work just fine zip it all up put it into a file. I like to use tar files because it retains permissions and not zip files, which doesn't retain permissions. So uh, that's the difference between those two. And then I would take that, put it on my thumb drive, walk it over to the next PC, plug it in, and then just simply extract it. For the purposes of this video, I can't really, I guess I could take my camera and just kind of do that exact same process, but uh, I thought I'd show you the little more advanced way because this is just a little more fun, especially when you have two PCs sitting next to each other and not actually having to plug anything into either one to grab data from them. Okay, so we have it all downloaded here. And what we can simply do is let's go ahead and do a listing here. We see the configs backup and we can just extract this. So we're going to go tar, extract, verbose, file, configs backup. What this does is extracts all our stuff to this actual computer. So all those settings inside will now be on here. We have successfully restored our backup. So let's go into .config and we'll do a listing. And if you look, you should see like a Google Chrome because I know I haven't installed that here. And there it is. Sure enough, it grabbed all those files. But so if I install anything else on here, this, see this machine's actually using Chromium, not Google Chrome. Uh, and I know I can easily just install whatever program I have in, that I've had in there on this computer and then all my settings will be exactly the same. And that simply is extremely powerful and definitely worth the wait. That whole process took only a couple minutes and it saved us days of configuring, uh, especially when you have a ton of programs. So there you have it. All you ever wanted to know about dropping config files from one computer to the next save you literally days of time doing this. But with all that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. A big shout out to all my patrons. Without you, I'd have a heck of a time making videos like this one. I'd probably end up just being another hack on YouTube talking about the news of the day. But instead, we have this wonderful education content, and it goes to all your guys' efforts and feedback. But with all that, I'll see you in the next one.